Hello, Doodle and Chat, and welcome to another episode of Doodle and Chat Classy. This is our December Doodle and Chat Classy, and Mandy um, and I, I say, I pause with the Mandy because I'm remembering our conversation about this Doodle and Chat Classy, and you're like, um, I'm not sure how it's going to work, but if you say so, Carrie, yes. So Mandy gets a text on Monday morning. I think it probably was. Yes. I'm like, check your email because I sent you an email because I knew Mandy was working. And I was like, I was driving to work and I have like a 40 minute drive. And I had this idea of us doing a, what are we calling it? A, a mosaic sketch note challenge. And right. so that's where Mandy's, if you say so, Carrie, let's, let's try it. it. Let's try it. You bet idea comes. And so that's what we're doing this month for December. It's not just a classy, it is a classy activity. It is a one pager activity, but it's a month long activity that we're hoping others will join us and be a part of. And it's going to create something really fun, not just together here, but together in this social media interwebs. Yes. The interwebs. If you go to the link in the show notes, you'll find a link to the doodle and chat um, December classy one pager where it has all the directions and supplies. We even include learning objectives because that's just the teachers in us. Right. Um, and it has the how to, but it also has the template to the mosaic um, sketch note challenge that we're doing. And it, it is a piece of a sketch or a piece of, of, of a mosaic. So sketch notes we know are all about combining images and words together to do all kinds of awesome things for learning, but also creating and also just for fun. And mosaics are, are art that's created by putting pieces of things together. We often see it with like glass or paper um, and other things to create an image together. What we're going to do today is, um, and what you can do too, is go to the show notes, print out your half of the snowflake and Mandy and I each have ours. Mandy's got the one. This is perfect. Did we play in this or what? There's two different versions. Mandy's got the one with just the, the mosaic piece on it. And then there's also one that has directions on it in case you want to hand it out to students or friends that you want to sketch note mosaic with. Once you have your mosaic piece <laughs> printed out, you're going to grab your favorite markers, crayons, whatever you decide. It could even be paint. I mean whatever, right? And really the mosaic, you can fill it with whatever you want to. If you want to just color the mosaic, that's a, that's a wonderful way to, to fill the mosaic. But then Mandy and I were also thinking of ways that it's December, it's the year wrap up. What better way to kind of channel anything that you might've learned with us throughout the year and apply it to this mosaic. So we've done tons of Zentangles you might want to entangle your mosaic. It's also a wonderful time to show gratitude for the year or for the month or for just needing to acknowledge gratitude because it can be a hard month too. So you could fill your mosaic with words and images of things that you're grateful for. December is also a wonderful time for people to share traditions or things about their family. So you could pair up words and images and fill your mosaic all about traditions and family. Um, and it could be a wonderful way in the classroom for students to share all that. Once you've decided on your topic or what you want to fill your um, piece of the snowflake mosaic with, it's just time to put pen to pen or crayon or pencil to snowflake <clears throat> and create. So Mandy, have you, I saw your flares. They look like glitter flares. They are. What did you, have you already made a decision about what you're going to do? So I think I am going to use images and one of the sketch notes that we did earlier was where we just put images all together like they just kind of all blended together so it's kind of like a zentangle except instead of with patterns it's with images oh and i do remember that one that's a fun stretch for sure yes yes we'll see i may decide that was a bad idea later i think i'm gonna do winter okay um, and then also, I'm sure some people are wondering, do they want to just um, fill in the inside of the snowflake or do they want to fill out the inside and the outside? And really, when it comes to the mosaic, yes, 
you know, what if they want to go and fill out the outside, that's fine. If they want to fill out the inside only, that's fine. We'll share at the end of this video how people can get the mosaic pieces to us and how they can watch the mosaic grow. And however people share those with us, you and I will just, we'll just, we'll make it work. Um, Absolutely. Because either way, it's going to be awesome. I know. I can't wait to see what these look like together. Me too. So I think I'm just, I'm going to stick with the inside though for now. Is that Me what too. you're going to do too? Yep. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to go with blue because it's kind of a wintry. I have blue and pink. So Ooh, very okay. nice. Do some blues and some pinks. So. Yes. Have you guys been getting the snow? Yes. Got some snow. Yes, we have. Did I bring my chunky markers down here? Oh, I did. I did. Good. I'm like obsessed with these bold flares. I almost don't ever want to use any other kind of flare again. So I, you know, I love my new job, but it does make me sad that I don't get to use as many different pens. <laughs> So when a student comes into my office and they have to fill out some kind of a statement for whatever reason, I always hold up my supply of pens. I'm like, you get to choose what color you want to fill this out with. And they're <laughs> like, that's weird. Like, you are correct. Like, this is going to make it any better. <laughs> right? That's exactly their thoughts. This is not going to take away the trouble that I'm in, lady. Now I put hot chocolate on my snowflake. I am not a hot chocolate person. Are you? I do like hot chocolate. I don't drink it very often. I am definitely a coffee person, but yeah. I will drink a cup of hot chocolate every now and then. And then are you a mittens or a glove person? I am a glove person. Mittens actually freak me out. <laughs> I'm a mitten person. <laughs> mittens freak me out because like you can't use your hand right. But they keep your hands warm. <laughs> That's funny. It is fun, I think, to to try to work with some of the small space. It is it definitely is a bit of a challenge. Yeah. But it's fun. It's also limited, so we don't get overwhelmed by too much space to fill, which is nice. That is true. Yes. And it is forcing me to think about what I want to put on here. Yes. I also like how it's um it's giving me permission to not put things exactly where I would think that I would put them. So my snowman doesn't have arms because I couldn't fit the arms on it. But putting the snowman arms after the snowman adds a little bit of humor, but also fun with it. It I does. I like that. That is funny. I could also see um, students maybe wanting to do more than one because I feel compelled after my first try um, at this to to want to do another and really see what I could make it make it look like. Yeah. A different way, you know. I do. I think that this would have been really fun to Zentangle too, but I do that all the time. So I wanted to try something different, but part of me really just wants to disentangle this. I had the same exact thought. I was like, this is dying to be disentangled. Yep. 
And it would be so cool to see different Zen tangles together. Yes. I am having a little fun fitting in some Zen tangles, though. Oh, are you putting? Yeah, I just put some dots on mine. Yeah, I'm just adding in like some lines to kind of, I don't know what I'm doing. Give it depth. I probably not, but I'm trying not to overwhelm it too much, but it I just feel compelled to add a little zhuzh. Some zhuzh. I do have gratitude for my coffee and my cookies. When I make my gluten-free cookies, I have a lot of gratitude for that. Awesome. I have my new job represented on there. Oh, I love that. My family, my exercise routines, because I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that I have a body that's able to work out. Yes. I love that. See, I like how you're filling that in too. So I haven't done that. I mean, and I could, I'm not going to at this moment, but that's the part about the Zentangle that I would really like is just to fill it in the rest of the way. Yeah. I'm having fun though, um, following with the shapes of the Zentangles or kind of following the thing that I wrote. So the cold is burr, so it's zigzaggy. And the sleds have the humps of things. I like and it. And the hot chocolate is kind of wavy. Nice. That's kind of fun. That is fun. And once again, it's hard to see the sparkles on here, but the sparkles do add a little bit of fun to this. So if I turn it, you can kind of catch the light a little bit and see the sparkles. I love it. I also love that we got to get out our flares or some kind of pen yes. that might not be what we usually use. Yeah. Absolutely. And I did appreciate the simplicity of this. Like, really, we're almost all done. Are you all done? I think so. Awesome. There's some white space in it. And with the colors that I picked, I'm kind of feeling it. I like it too. And, it, you know, it's white. So I love it. So we'll do another zoom in so everybody can see. Oh, that is so fun. I do like the colors that you picked. Is that a little dandelion by the picture? It is. Does that have significance for your family? Um, yeah. When my kids were little, they loved dandelions. They called them wish flowers. Oh, I love um, that. And so we have a lot of like dandelion artwork and stuff. So that is so fun. Makes me think of when my kids were little. <laughs> I love that. So when our friends are done with their piece of their snowflake mosaic, they should snap a picture of it and then they can share it out on social media. We're on Facebook, threads, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Or they can just look for my email our, our my email in the show notes and they can just snap a picture and email it to us. And then you and I will collect the mosaics and start digitally putting them together. I'm gonna to see if we can actually make it look like if, if Mandy, if you push your mosaic over or if you push yours over. So they'll start to grow together digitally to become mosaic snowflakes of whatever people are inspired to fill them with. Look at that. Isn't that fun? That's very cool. People who are joining us on this winter mosaic sketch note challenge can follow along on the hashtag doodle and chat. Mandy and I will be sure to share out once a week what the mosaic is looking like and they can follow along as other people start to fill up um, 
the digital space that we create as we make Sketchnote Mosaic uh, snowflakes. And I'm just so excited about this. I am too. Can't wait to see what people share. The ideas that they have to fill in their snowflake, fill around their snowflake. I can't wait to see it. Absolutely, absolutely. And if anybody has any questions about the project and wants to learn more, they can always email me or be sure to check out the all the resources in our show notes. It has lots of answers to questions. Um, we're so excited for everybody to join us on this month long Sketchnote Mosaic Challenge. And friends can also join us back here next Saturday at 9.33ish when we our Doodle and Chat friend Darby Huff joins us. So excited. And we get to, what's that? I said, I'm so excited. I know. And we doodle and we get to doodle and chat all about Darby. Thank you, everybody. And we'll see you next Saturday. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.